Hey guys, welcome back to another Jazz Hands video. This is Jazz Hands. Sorry for the quality that the video is going to be at at the moment. Um, I'm at my parents' house and I've got my mother's actual Barbie collection. I thought it'd be kind of fun to just rifle through it and show a bunch of the handmade outfits that my grandmother made back in the 50s or 60s early to mid 60s and show off some of the fashions I had. This is my doll I brought her with me. This is the uh, one that I bought after I moved out and just wanted to have a replica of the one that my mother had. My mother's doll is currently in here. We're gonna get her out in a minute. But this is the actual doll that she had in her childhood. She took really good care of it. And then in the, in the 80s and 90s, I <laughs> played with it and I did not take as good care of it. So she's a little rough around the edges. My doll has been to an artisan. She's been touched up and she's been, you know, fixed a little bit. So she looks pretty perfect. And this one could use the similar treatment. But, you know, this doll is very special. She's gone through two or she's gone through two people's childhoods and she's still in very good condition in my opinion. So I'm excited to show you my my mother's collection of uh, outfits that my grandmother made. So again, this is my doll. We'll just kind of push her to the side for the moment because she's not really the focus of it. She's just kind of uh, an extra. So this is the case. Um, I don't know if this is an actual Barbie case. It's possible that it is. Uh, I can kind of see on the side here, there's like a little design underneath, but whatever it was, my mom didn't like the actual design of the outfit. So what she did was she completely papered over the entire box and then she drew a little tiny house in uh, either paint or I think she painted it with watercolors and she drew flowers, a little mod flowers on the box. So she said, this is Barbie's home. And it's very cute. I love it. <laughs> it's, she, her doll's always been in this case. So we're going to open it up and see what we see in here. This is the actual doll that my, uh, that my mother started with and she's had for a long time. And uh, for, we'll put her up. I brought a stand for her to stand on. This is my stand. I bought it, though. <laughs> She gets the better stand. And then this is the replica one. She's, they're very close, very similar. That's why I wanted them, or I wanted a replica one. I wanted one very similar to the one that my mother had. My mother's is in very good condition for having gone through two people's ch childhood. She's got a bit of color discoloration, but you know what? I mean, that's normal for the time period. So let's go through some of the outfits that, uh, I'm gonna turn the camera a little more. There we go. Let's go through some of the outfits that uh, my, grandmother made and then this is another doll too it looks like it's a high color Barbie I'm not sure which one this is she got a haircut at some point though it looks like which is not great but she's wearing a Mattel uh, bodysuit piece and a nice long flowing skirt I never played with this particular doll this was not one of my favorite dolls I never really touched her. She's got kind of a tacky leg, so she's more of a mod doll, but she's got she's still got her eyelashes, so she could use some tender loving care, TLC. <laughs> but uh, that's not my favorite doll, nor the one that I want to do or even kind of focus on. She appears to have a Let's Dance in here, which is an actual outfit. I don't remember this one as a child. I think I bought this for her, and she kind of put it in here to go with her doll. A wedding veil some a pencil skirt some slacks these are these are the ones that are made by my grandmother I'm sorry barbie little items in here <laughs> some underwear the american airlines outfit which i'm not going to show off because i'm going to make my own video when i get back home with that one uh, a sheath dress well, you can see that okay well we'll put aside some outfits that I can dress her in so you guys can see her outfits the original um, square dancing dress that I had an artisan from my dolly dolls make a replica of this is the original she's got a little she's got a little ruffle underneath and I just love this outfit this is what I usually put this doll in all the time we'll put that to the side and we'll have her wear it a pillow all right <laughs> A beautiful handmade wedding dress with actual embroidery all over it. So my grandmother must have embroidered the whole thing. It's beautiful. It's got stains on it. I put the doll in this quite a bit too. Greasy stains from when I put it on the doll when I was a kid or when my grand my mom was a kid. But we'll put her in that too because it's special. A very uh, modish uh, outfit and a beautiful coat. 
and is in excellent condition for the year that it was made with a very fun print on the inside. I believe it's handmade too. I don't have any proof of that. It looks good enough to be a Barbie outfit, but I usually paired it with this particular modish outfit. This is an advanced uh, one. Um, if you look at one of the advanced pictures, it shows a wrap, and this is one of the outfits that you could get and make with it, and it's like an exact replica of the picture. It's done in blue silk. And then a beautiful coat, floor length coat, and a matching dress to go with it. Let's put some on the original doll so you can see what she looks like. There's some little odds and ends. Oh, there, there is a stand in here. Well, I guess I didn't need to bring mine over, but that's okay. You never quite know what you're going to find. There is a 90s era doll in here too. Huh, and a pillow that even came with her, but whatever. My sister must have thrown that in there. Let's dress up this doll, the original doll, the one that all the fuss is about. Let's start with this one. Remember the snap being kind of an issue on this particular dress, but uh, yeah, this is a homemade outfit, and now it only has one snap, that's why. I went through two childhoods, remember? My grandmother just kind of made it for my mom. That's cute. The print, the print on here, the fabric is like textured, so it has an interesting feel to it. And then it has the actual jacket that we can put on her too. Oh, that's very dramatic looking. I love it. Love that style. Floor length, uh, flared out coat. Kind of like red flare, but very dramatic looking. Look at that, that is beautiful. That's very fun. My grandmother did a great job on that. I wish I could like get my grandmother to like appear on camera and be like, oh, I remember this. I remember that fabric. That fabric came from blank and <laughs> a little history behind it. That would be so much fun. But I'm, for starters, my grandmother doesn't live here. She still lives in California. If you follow any of my videos, especially the handmade ones, then uh, you'll know that's why, that's why bar this Barbie was so important to me because I played with her in California when I went to go visit my parents. Let's get this uh, kimono on, is what it was called in the advanced sewing thing. I'll have to take a picture and like show a combination of it. There's the kimono, which is an actual Barbie design and outfit. So that was one that they created just so that you could... Uh, it was an official Mattel one, essentially. Like, Mattel licensed patterns out, and this was one of the official ones. And the picture showed the blue silk outfit in the front. So that was one that you could get, and it's technically an official Mattel one and it's vintage from the era too which is super fun let's do the wedding dress next i got a veil sitting here that i kind of want to see what it looks it looks like it's been a while since she's been wearing the wedding dress i'm sure the snaps are excellent on this one There's that. So there's the actual wedding dress. It's like, it like flares out the bottom. Just like that, like she was actually gonna go to the altar with it. Has a nice train. And then it has a little piece of lace that you can kinda put on as a veil, like that. I mean, you could probably mess around with it and make it look really pretty, but uh, you know, that's for not being able to afford the five dollars that the actual wedding gown actually costs. I mean, that's a beautiful handmade, homemade replacement that you could get for Barbie. That's very pretty, actually. That is nice. Take that one off. Let's do this very uh, early mod style and this is probably a pattern that they actually could have used to make an outfit out of because <laughs> they made clothing with it 
which means that it may have been on somebody at some point, like my mother or my aunts or even my grandmother back in the mid 60s. No snap, so we're not gonna be able to snap it, but <laughs> that's pretty fun. That, that veers a little too closely into mod territory for my taste, but she looks pretty cute in it. And then it looks kind of like a rainbow hidden in a sky here. Like this is the sky jacket, you could put that on her. I mean, this would probably go on the more modish Barbie, but I like this doll the most. So this is the one that gets dressed up. Snap, snap. I'd like to get a replica of this particular jacket. This jacket is just gorgeous. There. Look at that. Excuse me. Very cute. Look at that. Nice big buttons, kind of flares out the bottom. Kind of like red flare, only blue, and has big buttons to make it comfortable, like a rain jacket. That's really cute, look at that. Just a couple more. I don't want the video to be too long or it'll never upload. How about the blue sheath? So this is a different, darker fabric than the other one, and it's kind of seen better days. It looks like she's got a lot of holes in it, so I don't think that my grandmother may have just made it in a hurry, like, okay, fine, you want to see, you want another outfit? Here you go. Just kind of slapped it together, maybe, because it's got a lot of holes in the arms here. But I think it'll look pretty once it's on. My mom does not display her doll, or she just kind of throws her in the closet, so. Oh, that is nice. Like, you can't even tell that it's uh, not in very good condition either. It's a floor almost down to her ankles. I'm trying to make sure I got her on camera here. I got the camera on the side. This is not my ideal setup. <laughs> but yeah, that's nice looking. I like that. And then finally, my favorite is the square dancing outfit, which I liked so much and remembered so well. I had her in this dress all the time. I thought it was just the cutest thing when I would visit. Missing snaps also. Oh, we can get the top one. And there she is in her square dancing outfit. A lot of time spent with me in this dress when I was a kid in the California home, hanging out next to the pool, just kind of standing and watching me swim. In her, also in her bathing suit when I did that too. But uh, yeah, I mean, that's the original. That's what my grandmother made back in the early 60s for my mom to play with. And I've got my own personal new replica at home. Do, 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 do. <laughs> Looks beautiful. I think she married uh, a Star Wars or Jurassic Park figure in it. <laughs> I'll a Toy Story. So in addition to this, uh, there I found some more mod ones. They were not inside this box, and I'm pretty sure that they weren't in the same uh, place. I don't know what any of that is. And this own homemade hanger, which I just ripped it off of, so we won't touch that one. But I found another dress down uh, in another place that she had. Looks very modish. <laughs> I figured why not just throw it on. I don't think this was made by my grandmother because it doesn't have the same quality to it. It looks more like they just kind of sewed it in and then just kind of ripped parts out to make it fit. So I don't think they followed a pattern specifically for it, but uh, also very early 60s with that sheath, with that simple dress style. It's kind of cute. We've got like a brown one with a lace top, and this is like made out of like a sock or something. Let's see if we can get it on her. Hopefully I don't rip it because it seems a little delicate. Oh, there we go. We got it on her. I like the little embroidered flower that, or a little lace flower somebody cut out. and They like cut out the lace then sewed it on. And then yeah, little cute kicky. <laughs> That's pretty cute. I like that. I'm surprised. Nice brown color too. I like brown. Brown's not my favorite color, but I like it a lot. 
And then I actually found a, it looks like it's either a hat or a bag that goes with this one made out of the same fabric. So my grandmother must have made like a little purse because it has this little piece over it. I think it may have been sewn on at some point to this, which made it a little bag. I found that in a different place. So uh, these were all things that were made, I think, by them. Then I've got this, which is super, super 60s. And I thought that was awful fun. It's made out of the same, it's the same pattern, I think, as the wedding dress, or very similar because it has the same kind of style to it, but no straps on it. Uh, the, only, the only problem with this particular outfit is one that the hook in the back doesn't really sit. And it's like done backwards. So it, this is the front and then it has like, uh, this is how it sits out. It like flares out in the front instead of the back. But man, look at that outfit. That pattern is just flower power. <laughs> and I got one more. I got this uh, green coat, which I thought I'd just kind of put on real fast to show you another fun 70s or 60s style pattern of the green. I remember this green pattern. I don't know if it's bathrobe or if it's meant to be a jacket, but pretend like she's wearing clothes underneath. It's got little pockets sewn on the front. But yeah, I mean, it's fun to see vintage patterns and see vintage stuff. So well, there you go. That is my uh, mom's Barbie that my grandmother made a bunch of fashions for. I think it's super cute. And I just thought you might like to see it. So uh, until next time, this is Jazz Hands, and I hope to see you for my next video. Bye.